I'm in my low voice because it's super late and I felt like continuing doing reading, so that's what I'm doing. So you guys get soft voice, okay? okay. Oh, good lord. Adjust myself. <laughs> it's all crooked, okay. So, this is your um, first half of March love reading for my Gemini peeps. We got a little spread laid out here. The uh, top three cards are you. The uh, bottom three cards are uh, your partner or former partner or person that you were thinking about when you clicked on this. So um, what I'm seeing <laughs> for you guys up here, um, the past influence is uh, the Opportunity Beckons card, which is the Four of Cups. So uh, what I'm really seeing for you guys is in, um, in the past, you guys realized that you were emotionally unfulfilled in this situation. Like you guys weren't really getting what it is that you, um, that you wanted. Um, and I think that became very clear to you at one point in time. But, um, because you guys kind of started this journey with this person, um, which leads you into your present, which is the awaiting results, which is the equivalent of the seven of pentacles is, um, you know, you guys are kind of like your challenge right now is really to see because emotionally you're here. Okay. Which is influencing here. And I think, um, at, at a very deep heart level you know that you aren't happy or you haven't been happy or your needs have not been uh your emotional needs have not been being met maybe even your uh tangible like financial needs haven't been being met either but um you know you're kind of being patient and you're waiting to um see the seeds that you have planted into the situation or the energy and effort that you've put into the situation or the finances even that you've put into the situation to bear fruit but the challenge of this is for you to be uh to ground yourself and to be very honest with yourself about this situation on a heart level you know that you're not happy with it and you haven't been happy for some time but the challenge is for you to really take a step back and, and look at this and ask yourself, like, you know, of all of the, the time, energy, and effort I've put into this, like, is it looking like, you know, things are beginning to turn? Is it looking like, um, you know, things are shifting? Do you see any signs of growth? You know, if you think about yourself, like, standing in an orchard, you know, and you're a farmer of love. And you've planted seeds into the ground do you see any signs of life and if you don't that leads you into your um your future guidance card which is finding balance so it's really like taking time to ground yourself to focus on you to and i look at this and i think of the um <laughs> the wellness model that i operate in and counseling which is um I operate from a holistic model so with each one of my clients my main um, objective and you know the whole therapeutic process and whatnot is ensuring that we cultivate balance in each facet of the person's life because emotional well-being you know physical well-being mental well-being all of these things are imperative facets of who we are as individuals <clears throat> so when and here's a little tidbit <laughs> if you ever do decide to go to counseling um of course you know we find ourselves at a time where we end up seeking counseling because it's a lot of emotional and mental things that we're going through but um you know a counselor that operates from the wellness perspective is gonna let you know that you know while you're working on that to start looking at those other areas of your life and making sure those are balanced too like do you have work-life balance you know um are you spending too much time you know going on every single field trip for your kids or 
Are you working, you know, too many long hours? Can you pull back on that? Are you spending too much money? Or are you, you know, saving a lot, but you're not utilizing any of that money to um, invest in yourself as far as self-care, you know? So um, I think that's really what this is, is calling you guys to do is to really take a moment to pause to honor your feelings to honor your intuition what it's telling you what you know um to honestly look at the situation and see if it has been manifesting or if things have changed or if you have been in the same cycle over and over again and then going forward <clears throat> um taking that opportunity to really find balance within um yourself right now looking at the other person <clears throat> in their past we have the eight of cups which is the moving on card i'm gonna slide you guys up a little bit so you can see these oh come on glare um yeah there we go we have the eight of cups which is the moving on card with present we have the two of swords which is refusing to see <clears throat> and um going to our future um i wouldn't necessarily say guidance per se but I guess, like, this gives you guys, like, uh, a future glimpse into what is going on with the other person or what they're going to be dealing with in the future. And what I see for them in the past with the Eight of Cups, that is a situation that you have invested um, a lot into emotionally. But making the decision to walk away from it because or emotionally detach from it because it just really wasn't uh in alignment with what it is that uh you felt was best for you in a sense so this would be the person that you're dealing with um and i'm sorry about that but with that being in the past i'm pretty sure that the thing that kind of brought you to this place was the fact that you felt that emotional disconnect so this isn't kind of new information to you like you sense that you notice that um the connection really wasn't what it used to be and i'm looking at the fact of both of these being cups cards i'm looking at the fact that you're stuck at a four and they've kind of progressed four steps ahead of you to the uh to the eight of cups so i'm kind of feeling like this you were emotionally starved in this situation to the point that it um I'm not going to say in a victimization sense, but it you were emotionally starved. You didn't leave the situation, so you stagnated. And this person kind of, you know, progressed forward, not in the sense of like positive progression, but it's just they kind of drifted off on their own. And I think on a very emotional level, they're moving on not because it's like a, you know, I don't want you type of thing, but I'm really sensing it's because this person is aware that, you know, um, of you being in a stagnant state. So it's almost the place of them, like a resistance to them wanting to take it to the next level because either they know that they can't emotionally or them knowing they can't emotionally and wanting to release you if that makes sense so um in the event that this is a situation that you're dealing with um and like a couple type of situation it's like of course um it is painful indeed but um let that be a sense of a light of almost that uh and i hate to say it this way but it's almost like them moving forward is doing you a favor you know because they understand that they have you in this stuck place now their present challenge is they're refusing to see now this kind of piggybacks on this for me because the thing is is that i think like they know that you are a good person right and I think in so many ways, the universe blessed them greatly by um, allowing the two of your paths to cross, right? And the truth is, if they were to make the emotional adjustments that are required for this to work, then this could work. But, you know, I really don't know <laughs> what it is that they're going through, but... um 
but for whatever reason that's their choice it's like they're they're kind of choosing to turn a blind eye to um what's in front of them or the opportunity that they have you know because you know if you look at in the series of like one to ten it's like being at an eight if they were to you know do the work that they have to do heal what they have to heal within them that's causing them to not um you know give you what it is that that you deserve and what it is that you're asking for what it is that you're so patiently waiting for with the um seven of pentacles and with that being a pentacle like you've been waiting a long time boo <laughs> you know like maybe seven years long okay but um they're just refusing to see it and to kind of pull from that it's like a lot of times when a person is emotionally unavailable it's like in order for them to open up to you would require them to first open up to themselves and that's a huge feat within itself you know and something we all should know about personal work is the fact that no person um no person can um inspire us to heal more than the self because a lot of times you know people will say like oh you know uh i quit drinking for my kids you know it's like you need to quit drinking for yourself first because the thing is is everything in life is temporary even the people that are in it like we're not promised tomorrow we're not promised to even the people we love the most that they're going to be here forever when you place your meaning and your purpose for being existing the reason you wake up every day your reason for not drinking or not doing drugs when all of that is someone outside of yourself in the sad unfortunate event that that person either you know you go separate ways or you know god forbid that person passes away it's like you no longer have a leg to stand on because you've put your um like the fire that's in you like your 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 fire for living in the hands of someone outside of yourself and that's never a power that you want to give away to someone outside of yourself you know so i say that to say that <clears throat> don't beat yourself up of like oh you know they love me and like you should love me enough to do that it's like honestly we have to love ourselves enough to do that because we can't give to other people what we aren't already giving ourselves you know what i'm saying so this person is being willfully blind in other words you know they're just kind of literally trying to disassociate so to speak like this isn't happening this isn't happening like whatever and moving forward but like i said on the back end it it's it's more beneficial for you although it may be painful you know, it's them knowing that they can't give you or they're incapable. Not that they don't want to, they're just not capable of giving you what it is that you desire. And moving um, forward, so this is your glimpse into their future. Um, while you're finding balance, there are sad and isolated. It's three swords. So that is in the traditional rider way, the, um, you know, the heart would be three swords in it so more or less um the your choices that you made in a very you know cognitive mental kind of space the choices that you made that were them the choices they made that were emotionally influenced or the lack thereof of emotionally influenced has put them in a place to where they're hurting you know it's almost like this is like self-sabotage guys if you ever wanted to know what self-sabotage look like looks like in tarot cards there you go <laughs> you know you emotionally disconnect from a situation to move forward to being willfully blind <laughs> you know what i'm saying like in um this state of uh ambivalence and dissension like mentally you know and now you're you're going from the two of swords to the three of swords which is just heartache so in essence this person broke their own heart but 
the upside of all of this is the fact that, and I know it's sucky, but the upside of that is the fact that um, it's giving you an opportunity to kind of get back to numero uno and to understand your value and your worth and that when a person that, um, well, I'll say it this way, that you deserve someone who's going to reciprocate what it is that you're giving. It is not your job to like, oh my gosh, who is that woman? It's a historical figure that I'm picking up on when I look at her, but I cannot call her name. Sophie B. Wright? What did she do? I need to Google this. Who is she? Who is she? That's a civil war. Okay, that's right. <laughs> I felt that. What did she do? I'm so sorry, y'all. I just really feel like uh, active in the prison and I feel a player on the women's union. She's She's from New Orleans. Okay. That's cool. So what did she do that is so magnanimous? Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm from New Orleans and I just said that on this video. Like, I'm probably gonna have people be like, what you mean what she did? <laughs> um, oh, wow, she was a humanitarian and a philanthropist. Interesting. Well, guys, I'm not going to take up all this time on your video trying to make sense of that, but maybe you might want to Google that. Um, Because I felt that. I felt civil war. That's kind of creepy, and her picture is making me feel some type of way because I feel like she's staring at me through it. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And uh, <laughs> I ain't trying to get no messages from nobody. It's too late at night. I ain't got time. Anywho, but yeah, you guys might want to uh, to Google that. I don't know if that has any type of relevance to someone, and I feel kind of silly at the fact that this is a, a person who is from my city. <laughs> but when I look at this card, I don't know why it's like I, I picked up on her energy. So I don't know if maybe that'll be relevant to you somehow. I don't know how. I don't know if maybe that's saying the direction that you should be going in, like as you're finding balance, maybe you don't have a career presently and you leaving this situation is, um, that's giving you insight on the path you should follow. I'm, I'm really not sure, but you guys let me know in the comments if that's relevant to anyone or if anyone Googled her and found anything nice other than feeling the creepy eyes turning back to you. But anyway, um, Yes, guys. Uh, other than that, um, let me see. Let me pull the romance angels for you guys. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like I need to do what I did last month and pick three of these like I did with the angel answers. Maybe I should do three of these and three angel answers. Because this is a very touchy situation, guys, and I really apologize for that. I apologize for the segue. Because um, I'm really big on energy and I, you know, I totally like kind of changed the vibe right there. I apologize for that. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that for you all. But just stay encouraged because um, I understand if you, you know, really, really love this person. But, you know, sometimes... We have to let things go. And I honestly believe, like, and what I sense from this, I don't believe this person had malice intent. I don't believe that they're, they set out to hurt you or to harm you. It's just almost as if they saw that they were not or could not be what it is that you needed and they're releasing you. Because I really, I don't really feel that you would have done so. I think you would have really waited until you know oblivion 
you know, because you're, you're that, you know, rooted in it, you know, I love you, I'm sorry that you're going through this, I need three cards for Gemini's, three cards for Gemini's, And I suppose this reading, um, I'm not going to do singles in it, so I'm going to make it way too long, but this is couples or people who are, you know, in that liaison phase of coupling. Okay. Card number one, card number two, card number three. Where are my angel answers? All right, and with these, we're gonna do the same thing. So that's one, two, three. And I don't really think that you can, I've never attempted to do those by asking them questions, but I mean, I think that's just gonna give you clarification on your specific situation. So you can pick one, two, or three, and the same with these, you don't have to pick like one and one, you could do one and two or however you wanna do it. But with these, you can actually ask a specific question. So pause the video, think of that. Three cards for my Gemini friends for any questions that they have in reference to this reading. It's card number one, card number two, and card number three. Okay? So for the angel answer cards, uh, your clarification energy, if you pick card number one, is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's in the event that, you know, you guys haven't talked about this. If you pick card number two, um, your clarification card is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And if you picked clarification card number three, your answer is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So in that case, maybe homeboy is going to go ahead and leave, you know, realize that, uh, you know, try to be willfully blind and he going to come back singing Robin Thicke, you know. I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. Okay. How does it feel? No. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I hope that made you laugh and made you feel better. But yeah, these are dope clarification cards, yo, because it's three different sets of um of jimmies. Some of you guys really need to talk and tell the truth about how you're feeling. You know? Because just like old boy looks, he looks rather emotionally disconnected. Like he's focusing on something else and she's all like, I love you. So there's one group of you who are just not um, communicating your truth to your partner. There's another group of you that need to just let go. Because the universe has something better for you. And then there's some of you who are actually going to get your old thing back. And uh, for these... That's one, two, and three. If you pick card number one, your answer is not the right time. If you pick card number two, your answer is unlikely. If you pick card number three, your answer is the situation will improve. Wow. That's heavy. Well, all right, my sweet, precious gems. I hope you enjoyed your reading. This is couples and half couples. Singles are up next. But love and light to you, my sweet, precious one. Send me an email. Send me a message if you need to chit-chat. I love your face. I'll see you soon, guys. Deuces. Mm -hmm.